All of the major brands on TV pay a lot of money to create hooky advertisements that sell their services or products. They all use visual and audible motifs to make their advertising memorable for the viewer, as they have about a minute runtime on their advertisement. Why not study them and take some of these visual and audible motifs to create our own advertising ads for our own business? Money Supermarket is using the theme of calmness around the service they provide, taglines like, get money calm and the money calm bill. The main audible motif is the play on the word of Money Supermarket by saying the following. Money Supermarket, or should we say, Money Supermarket. Let us take you and your money from ah! to ah. Breathe in as Money Supermarket gives you lots of clever ways to save a lot by doing very little. Breathe out as you feel a lot more ah. Just like Bernice here. Bye, Bernice. Get money calm. Oh, hello again. Money supermarket, or should we say, money supermarket. Money is often a stressful part of life, therefore money supermarket is using the theme of calmness as their main advertising theme. Money Supermarket also uses a confident, trustworthy and calm voiceover in their advertisements, to add to the theme. Money Supermarket also uses animals as visual motifs, goats, cats and bulls have all been used as little visual cues, made into little characters that make a cute goat or cat-like sounds which is another audible motif. Dreamy environments, relaxed goats in the jacuzzi and calming music in the background, all add to the theme of calmness around the service they provide. Animations are also used for the entire advert. Animated computer-generated animals' characters act as visual motifs, and using a first-person perspective. McDonald's have started to use a melodic motif in their advertising. This is an audible motif that accompanies their signature yellow and red logo, which is a visual motif. Their audible motif is... It's a nice simple little melody that means that if you hear that sound being hummed anywhere and instantly know that it's referring to McDonald's. McDonald's logo itself is a great visual cue, the contrasting colors of red and yellow is a classic memorable visual motif, as well with the M. These hooks all make it memorable for the viewer and distinctive from their competitors. Churchill is another insurance company using the theme of calmness or relaxation, as their customers target feelings, the music, the visual and audible motifs all add to this mental state when you are watching the advertisement. A beautiful mellow backing track, the animate dog skateboarding down the road, and the play on the word Churchill. They have taken the chill from their brand name Churchill, as their visual and audible motifs to make it very memorable. Isn't this how insurance should make you feel? Oh yes. So you can just... Chill. Churchill. It is another animation of an animal, the British Bulldog that is doing a strange thing of riding on a skateboard. This is another visual cue that it's unusual and not something that you see or would think of. It's all about creating visual and audible hooks or motifs that makes the advert memorable within a minute of the customer seeing it without paying too much attention to it. The beautiful chords really do make you feel calm and mellow, which is the emotional anchor of the advert. The rest of the visual hooks just add to the feelings of the backing track. Compare the market uses animals as their mascots for the brand. Two markets act as their main visual cues or hooks to the viewer. It's another play on their brand name and branding to make it more memorable. The word market sounds very similar to market. Compare the market, compare the market, making it that little bit more memorable. Humor, jokes in the word, automated, all make for memorable motifs in their advertising. Computer animation is used again to tell the viewer a story of the services they provide. Automate your bills with Auto Sergey. Compare the market, keep life simple. Often in these advertising adverts, there is a script being followed, a minute long script that tells a story about the service or products that the brand offers. The advert is like a small play telling the story of the services the company and brand offer, and there are memorable and emotional hooks and motifs added into the small play to help it become memorable within a very short amount of time. It is very often an emotional story that has a call and response structure to it. In the beginning a call is presented and by the end of the advert, the call has been responded to, and the advert concludes to a happy emotional conclusion for the viewer. Similarly in music you have a dissonance and then a cadence to resolve for the listener. Here in advertising adverts, it is a visual cadence in the form of the brand's product or service, providing the cadence or solution to the problem presented in the advert. You can now use these techniques to create your own adverts for your own business. This is not copying or stealing, it is learning what really works in the world of advertising. Why not learn what really works in the world of advertising from the biggest brands in the world for absolutely free? These brands pay a ridiculous amount of money to create these great advertisements, and so can you on a smaller budget, but still have the same fundamental elements needed to make the advertisement memorable for the viewer. 
So to summarize and recap on what has been covered, Adverse should tell a relatable story associated with your product. It should tell how your product or service is a solution to the problem outlined in the beginning of the advert. The advert should be targeting an emotion that the customer often feels around your products. In the example of Money Supermarket, it was anxiety around paying bills, and the product was a calm solution to get lower bills when comparing vendors. The advert should have an emotional conclusion. Feelings of happiness are resolved by the end of the advert, stating that your product or service is a solution the customer needs in a subtle manner. Along the journey of the story, there should be two or three emotional visual and audible motifs, or hooks that make the brand name and advert very memorable to the viewer. Animals, characters, animal sounds, music and melodies that all add to the overall theme and feelings that you are targeting in the story and in your customer. I encourage you to watch the advertisements studied in this discussion, I will put the link in the description. Watch these advertisements from a critical perspective to identify what they're doing to make their adverts very memorable within a couple of minutes of watching them. Now you can use these same techniques for your own business.